Seeing a 404 page not found error on your WordPress site, let's fix that fast. This video is here to help you troubleshoot and solve the most common 404 errors in WordPress. Whether they show up after editing pages, changing permalinks, or moving your site to a new host. Stick with me and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to get your pages working again and how to stop 404s from coming back. 404 means WordPress can't find the page someone's trying to visit, even if that page still exists. Permalink issues. That's when your site's URL structure has changed, but WordPress hasn't updated the internal links. Okay, so fix number one is reset your permalink. This is the fastest and easiest fix. So I've logged into my WordPress dashboard here and all you need to do from here, go down to settings here on the left hand side, hover over that and then click on permalinks. Then all you need to do, don't need to change anything at all, just scroll down and then click on save changes. And this forces WordPress to rebuild your URL structure. If after this, your 404 is gone, you're done. That's it. If not, let's keep going. Okay, fix number two is fix your .ht access file. .ht access tells WordPress how to load URLs. If it's corrupted or missing, your pages might break. To fix it, all you need to do is come to your hosting file manager or use FTP. I'll drop a link to a video that shows you how to FTP into your files for your website in the description below. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to do it through your hosting panel, just like I've got right here, my hosting panel for my website using Hostinger. So all you need to do is then navigate to the files manager for your website and click on file manager. Then I'm going to choose the files for the website I'm currently working with. And now we're in the file manager for that website. All you need to do is open your root folder, which is usually called public underscore HTML that one there, we're just gonna double click on that to open it. Then we need to look for a .ht access file and you'll be able to see it, it's right here. I'm gonna click on it, right click in it and then click on edit. Now, if it's empty or messed up, we'll need to replace all this. And I'll provide a link to a file that has a default .ht access file so that you can copy and paste it into your .ht access file for your site, then all you have to do is save the file, reload your site, and check all the links and everything again. And hopefully that would have fixed it. If you've changed URLs or deleted pages, you may still have broken links hiding on your site. Okay, so fix number three is find and redirect broken links. And for this, I recommend using All-in-One SEO's broken link checker to scan your entire site and find broken links. It's a fantastic tool. All you need to do is go over to plugins here, click on add plugin in the search bar, type broken link checker. This is the all-in-one SEO broken link checker. I've currently got it on the site, but what you need to do is install, activate, and then you'll be able to come over to the broken links here in the left-hand side, click on that. And here you can see that the broken link checker scans the complete site and then it finds any pages that return 404 errors so that we can update and redirect them. So right here, we can see that this one right here has a status of this link is broken, tells us what the URL is, what the post is that that's in. And then we have some options right here as well. We can edit the URL, unlink, recheck, or add redirect. So we can edit the URL right now. So we just click on that and we can see the anchor text that that is for. And then all we need to do is in the URL here is just change the URL to whatever it needs to be. And then once you've done that, click update, and then you'll see the status has changed to this link still needs to be checked. So then you can click on check. And now we can see the link is working perfectly. And then what you can do then is just go down this list and find any of the broken links and edit the URLs to URLs that you know are working and then check them. And there you'll be able to fix all the broken links on your site. You can also do it by redirecting as well. So you can add a redirect and I definitely recommend getting this if you're getting quite a lot of 404s 
but you need to redirect a lot of posts um, and combine things and things like that. So if you do that, you have to get all in one SEO pro and that's got a redirects feature right here, which works absolutely fantastically on your site. A slug is part of a URL that identifies a page like forward slash about or forward slash blog. If two things on your site have the same slug, WordPress can't decide which one to show. Fix number four is not something that a lot of people think about, but checking for slug conflicts like the end of your URL being the same for certain pages and posts. WordPress may get confused on that one. So what I'd recommend you do is come to your pages section, then check the slugs for any of the pages that you have got 404s for. So for instance, under blog here, we could go on quick edit and then we can just check the slug for that and make sure it's fine. And if it needs editing, we just edit it and then update. I'm just gonna cancel that. And then you do the same for posts and just quick edit and check the slug for that as well. And I'd also recommend going into categories and just double checking the slugs for categories. So if you've got categories here, you can click on quick edit again and check the slug there. Okay, so this is a little bit of a bonus part of this video as well is basically if you wanna catch 404s before your visitors do, use the 404 to 301 plugin. Not only redirects broken links, but it also emails you every time someone hits a 404 page. So to set this up, we need to do is come to plugins here, click on add plugin, type in 404 to 301. Then it's this one right here, just click on that, install, then activate, so activate it. Then we come down to 404 to 301, and we can see we've got no 404. This is where the error logs for 404s would be. So if we come to settings right here. Okay, so for these settings, we can see we've got the redirect type, so we can choose what that is, it's 301 at the moment, but you can have 302, 307. If you look below, you'll be able to find out more about those redirection types as well. Redirect to, click on that drop down. It's going to allow you to choose an existing page, a custom URL, or no redirect. So with an existing page, you'll get an option down here to select one. If we go back to custom URL, we've got currently got the main website URL there for this website, and then log 404 errors enable or disable that if you want. And then the really interesting one here is to enable by checking this box, email notifications. And this will email the admin email account for the website, unless you type another email address in here. Once you've got all those settings that you want, just click save settings and that is ready to go. There you go. Your WordPress 404 errors should now be fixed. Just remember, a 404 doesn't mean your content is gone. It just means WordPress lost track of it. And now you've got the tools to reconnect the dots. If this video helped you, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more WordPress videos like this. If you've got questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm here to help. I'm Ryan, this is WP Beginner, and I'll see you in the next video.